I was always fascinated by those commercials. I would ask the question, how did they get that shot? No matter how much times I tried to recreate that, I always fell short, like quite a bit. But I'm gonna give it one more shot, create a commercial that could hold up for a real TV product ad and also challenge myself, not only to film the video, but to do it with the $30 lens. See, camera gear can get expensive. And when you pile up everything and realize how much you spent, you begin to wonder if that really makes you a better filmmaker. So I wanted to find out, can I really make a cinematic commercial with a $30 lens? So I placed an order. Now a couple challenges I faced while testing the lens was that it had an insane amount of distortion. And I mean like a lot. But despite how annoying that was, I managed to fix some of that in post. But the biggest issue was that the lens had a really bad minimum focusing distance. That's how close a lens needs to be to a subject and still be in focus. So I had no other option but to order a macro adapter for the lens. It was crucial for the project I was planning for because extreme close-ups was a key element in that commercial. So, if you haven't realized, the commercial is about these work boots. I wanted to make this commercial different from any other commercial, but putting them in different environments, not only construction related, but in everyday life. The first thing I needed to do is to show off the leather on the boots. So, I attached my $10 macro adapter and got these shots. After, I'm ready to get these boots dirty. I had an idea of implementing super slow-mo shots in different environments. So I got together a shot list and went out to explore. The video is basically done, but I also wanted to record natural and unique sounds to help better drive the film. So I grabbed my recorder and went to explore. These are the sounds that I recorded. So with these sounds, I'll finish the video. After multiple revisions and troubleshooting, I am excited to present to you the final piece.